hi friends in the previous video we have discussed that how we can download the SPSS software from IBM SPSS statistics website as you can see the link of that website on the word file in the previous video we discussed three steps in the step one we will go to this website we will click on the try it now then we will fill the trial form and uh, after activating the trial we will receive a email on our email id then our ibm id will be created by ibm company then you will uh, when you will log in that id you will see that there is an option of download on the left side of your uh, browser and uh, when you click on download option you will see that ibm sps website will give you certain options so here you can see that option you can download for window 64 bit software or you can download mac os operating system software so it's up to you whether you want to download windows uh, for sps statistics or you want to use this software on mac operating system so now in this video we will see that how we can install uh, this software after downloading it i have installed this software on my system and i am showing you some screenshots which i have taken so here is the download file info when you download the software it it is 890 mb software so you need this kind of space on your system then when you will download the software you will click on the setup page and uh, after clicking on the setup you will see this information that software is preparing to install and uh, after this information you will see a next window where it will be asked to you to to click on the next button and uh, when you will click on the next button it will ask you where you want to install your software in c drive d drive e drive where you want to install it you can mention that sp space or you can mention that address here or if you want to change the address you can click on the open folder so I have just click on the next button and there is a next option uh, on my screen that they will ask me to accept the licenses agreement I accepted this then the next window appeared there it's showing me that what this, that the, this is the destination folder where my software will be installed I clicked on the next button then the next window appears where it will ask you to install the software you can click on the install button and here the procedure of installing IBM SPSS statistics will be started and after around one or two minutes you will see that there are different options will be coming where it will show you the status of the installation process and finally you will get a message that installation has been completed you can click on the finish button and after that you will see a icon of IBM SPSS 29 on your desktop and uh, then it will ask you to activate IBM SPSS statistics you can log in with your IBM ID this ID will be your email ID and you will receive this IBM ID on your email when you created your trial version and when you will mention that login ID there option appear of your appear about the software and uh, next you can see that here I have mentioned the password of my login ID and uh, you have to mention the password in 12 to 63 characters and there must be one uppercase character and you can mention different numbers etc when you mention that details you will be logged into your IBM SPSS statistics and your software will be started here is the window where you can see that it's showing me that welcome to IBM SPSS statistics and simply you can click on the close button and you can start working on your IBM SPSS 29 version there are many different things that have been introduced in this new software you can use this software and analyze your data Thank you for watching this video.